Hey guys, so a lot is out regarding the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. It's literally crossing limits. And recently we came to know via Let's Go Digital that Samsung is working on a Samsung Galaxy Zero phone. This is gonna be a secret phone with just screen, no bezels at all. No notch, no mini notch, just a full high quality display. And that will be their fourth flagship level phone other than the Galaxy X Note 9 and the Galaxy S9. First off, in news of today is that Samsung recently told the Korea Herald that a showcase of the Galaxy S9 at the CES 2018 is highly unlikely. Meaning we won't see Galaxy S9 family there but they still have something planned and most likely it's going to be the foldable beast Samsung Galaxy X. Yesterday this picture was posted as Galaxy S9 but it's actually fake. Uh, just a photoshopped version of the Galaxy S8. So as of now we have have no live image of the S9. We're not there yet, but hopefully there will be something like that pretty soon. So got a lot of messages regarding this, so I thought I should clear things up. The major news is that the Limit Breaker Galaxy S9 will score 90% screen to body ratio. It's reported on Samuel.com that Galaxy S9 screen to body ratio will be as high as 90%, almost 6% higher than the Galaxy S8. And that is super impressive because right now, uh, the current top phones are mostly in the 85-86% range, so uh, 90 would be a sweet target for most of the companies and Samsung. They are looking to do that first before anybody else. They're really pushing uh, their Galaxy S9 to the absolute limit. It's also mentioned that Galaxy S9 will be a lot smaller than Galaxy S8 while still having a 5.8 inch screen size. We recently got this screen size leaked information of the Galaxy S9 that says the display size 5.77 inches that is about 5.8 inch and the reason why the S9 will be smaller while having the same screen size as the S8 is that there will be no bottom bezel we've heard this before multiple times that Galaxy S9 bottom bezel will be almost non-existent while the top of the Galaxy S9 will be narrower than the Galaxy S8's top bezel so this will make the phone smaller while having the same screen size and there will be almost no side bezels which is already pretty non-existent on the Galaxy Note 8 and speaking of Note 8 today is the last day to enter the giveaway if you don't know already I am giving away a brand new Galaxy Note 8 to a one lucky subscriber and to enter this giveaway all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel with notifications on follow me on Instagram and Twitter and lastly leave a comment below because I will be picking a random winner tomorrow so best of luck. Now back to the topic the Galaxy S9 will also come with a brand new color and that color is purple. Now thanks to Samable.news he sent me a purple Galaxy S9 render uh, which shows us how it may look in real life so it's been said that it will be a dark purple color uh, compared to what Samsung normally do you know they go towards light colors other than the black one so uh, this is the first time Samsung is doing this color and that would be the fifth S9 color other than blue, black, gray, and gold. I personally want to see a red Galaxy S9 uh, because they recently launched a burgundy red Galaxy S8 and it looks pretty sexy so seeing the S9 in red would be pretty amazing. Other than the red color, the emerald green color from the past is also a badass color that I would like to see again with the S9 which they first launched with the Galaxy S6 Edge. Now there's a reason why I'm calling the Galaxy S9 limit breaker because not only the bezels, we also have a breaking thing with the camera. Yes, yeah, Samsung recently launched a flip phone called as the Galaxy W2018 with a whopping f1.5 aperture camera. That's the largest aperture on a smartphone in the world right now, beating the likes of LG V30's f1.6 aperture. So the S9 is expected to go beyond that, coming at limit-breaking f1.4 aperture. This would really improve low-light performance and achieve amazing bokeh, which is a must for the normal Galaxy S9 because we will only see one camera sensor 
on the S9, whereas the S9 Plus will rock two cameras. And it's unlikely that Samsung will bring live focus to the S9 because they want the S9 Plus to be more appealing. But if the main camera sensor is as good with f1.4 aperture, I don't think we really need live focus with the normal S9. It can be done via software as well, like we have on the Pixel phones. But again, as far as my guess goes, Samsung will definitely make that an exclusive feature with the S9 Plus. Now, thanks to the Galaxy Club, we have information on official Samsung Galaxy S9 cases so here are the official cases that will be coming with the Galaxy S9 so we got the Alcantara cover, clear view cover, LED flip wallet, protected standing cover and a silicon cover. Now all these covers are available with Galaxy S8. The only new one mentioned here is the hyper knit cover for the Galaxy S9. It's probably for the higher protection with a great knit feel. Speaking of accessories, Samsung's also working on a new version of Samsung DeX with backward compatibility. It's reported that Samsung is going to be launching a new model with a new form factor that will allow the phone to be placed flat rather than standing up. This will allow you to easily use the phone as a touchpad, something you can already do, but because of a weird angle and the orientation of the phone you can't really utilize it effectively so you can also use your galaxy phone as a virtual keyboard reducing the reliance on using third-party peripherals now personally i think samsung dex is a really awesome accessory a must-have if you got the note 8 or s8 along with a high-end 4k monitor i absolutely love it i use it every day it's my go-to media consumption thing and that's why it's uh, probably my top three favorite pieces of tech this year and and lastly, the Galaxy S9 Android 8.0 Oreo testing is now underway. Galaxy Club has reported that both S9 and S9 Plus are getting tested for Android 8.0 version. Of course, we still have a lot of time till release. So in two, three months time, Samsung might switch to Android 8.1 Oreo version, which is already in beta for the Pixel and the Nexus phones. Now we have done advancement in a lot of areas like displays, phone performance, build qualities, cameras, but one thing that is lacking behind is the battery. Well, not anymore. Because Samsung has been working on a killer fast charging technology, they have developed a graphene ball that can be used to make lithium ion batteries that will not only charge faster, but also last longer. This new battery will take only 12 minutes to charge from zero to 100% compared to an hour plus on the current ones. Not not only that, it can also survive up to 60 degrees Celsius heat temperature. I'm really happy that Samsung has done something with the battery department. I mean, if this does end up being on the future Galaxy phones, then it's surely going to be revolutionary. So yeah guys, the Galaxy S9 is looking to cross industry limits with its awesome camera sensor and its awesome screen to body ratio. Hopefully we'll see a major leak soon showcasing the real device itself because uh, I can't wait to see the Galaxy S9, especially in the purple color because it is actually one of my favorite colors. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and again, the giveaway is alive. Today is the last day to enter and the winner will be announced tomorrow. So stay tuned on the channel for that. It's the first ever giveaway. I hope everything should go well and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.